So when I started feeling into these energies of December 2021, the big thing that was really coming forward, there's a lot, a lot of snake energy. And when I started looking into the astrology of it, I did find there's a lot of snake energy happening, especially around the eclipses that are ushering in December 2021. And uh, starting with that, that eclipse in late November, the lunar, um, partial lunar eclipse on the 18th of November was had a lot to do with the, the myth of Medusa. It, it, that eclipse was a conjunct with the star Algol, which is associated with the head of Medusa. It's considered a star of misfortune, but don't be scared by that because if you look into the myth of Medusa, and you might want to look at my Pegasus and Medusa video that I just posted recently, um, it is a story of transformation and it's a story, it's a hero story. It's a story of Perseus as well, who is the hero in the story. He cuts off the head of Medusa and through that act of uh, beheading Medusa enables her to bring forward the the pure parts of herself right the 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 children of light right and so there is a lot around this month that is associated or connected with ascension with human evolution okay and and it's really really important anytime snake energy comes up that we really start being aware okay because snake is such a powerful totem a lot of really powerful energy that is connected with ascension and with life and death right um and so the dark side of the snake is is you know it has been used right in 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 very dark ways but there's also a light side with snake okay which is deep wisdom it's earth wisdom okay and this is the side of snake that we can work with in order to help to negate or neutralize some of this really dark energy that's been brought into the world okay and so it's important to recognize that any time that you're working with snake if you allow fear to come in it's going to take you down okay so working with actual snakes you have to be real calm like the snake charmers or the snake handlers you have to be completely calm so this is a call really to to look at your emotional body and how you're working with that okay and also with the physical body okay snake really rules the lower chakras and this is the kundalini energy that we can release but it has to be done mindfully and consciously okay so here is a couple things before i launch into the reading um purification it may be a big theme for december and actually for the the following six months because remember um december we have that solstice and that really will set the stage for the the, the half of the year coming forward especially if you are in the southern hemisphere there may be a lot around purification and release because you're going to be in that summer solstice energy which corresponds with the, the kind of full moon energy right if you're in the northern hemisphere you may still be having that purification effect but you're also going to have the the winter solstice which is similar to a new moon energy okay so this could be a really good month to really feel into to envisioning uh, visioning your life ahead i'm going to get into that a lot more deeply in my solstice video that'll be coming up and i'll be explaining the symbolism behind this painting here because that really relates to the solstice okay um, but for now just think of vision and and one thing that's really coming in to encourage all of us to do is when we start from here on out, when we start envisioning and planning for our life, you know, we can plan for our own lives, but if you start holding a vision for a beautiful earth, what we're actually building as a collective 500 years in the future, think forward to that 500 years from now earth and a pristine beautiful earth that really can help us to transcend the ego okay because none of us is going to be here in 500 years but this is what we're assisting and building this 
beautiful new paradigm that we're building will not happen overnight and thinking really far ahead in the future can help us to really align with uh, the planetary consciousness with solar consciousness and you know get us out of our ego self okay so that when we're thinking in terms of what are we what are we contributing to that far in the future it brings you to a place where you can really feel like, okay, what can I do to be of service to contribute to building that reality? Okay. Um, all right. So let's move into the reading for uh, December 2021. And I'm going to be pulling four cards from my Spirit Animal Awareness card deck, which, by the way, I'm going to be putting on sale through the end of the year. So if you would like to snag yourself a deck, I'll put the link uh, to that sale coupon um, below. Okay, so this is going to be a four card reading. We're going to be pulling a card for each of the four bodies, mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical, just for support coming up in this month. So this first card is for the mental body, okay? And this is Red Panda coming up as a challenger. This Red Panda is a very shy, retiring creature, and she is really sensitive, and she's up in the trees, okay? She's running around in this um, kind of air environment, okay? And she's very, very much at home here. But coming up as a challenger, I'd say watch for illusions, okay? They're, they are so, <laughs> so prevalent right now. And maybe get away from the social media or the media itself, what's going on in there. Either take a vacation from it and allow your mind to rest and maybe allow your mind to focus on uh, spiritual truths like the natural law is I can't say enough how important it is to study natural law right now maybe if you know if you keep finding yourself like drawn constantly towards towards social media or the news maybe redirect okay let's learn some fundamentals here because there is a lot of illusion and even if you do stay on those platforms, consider looking deeper, okay? Look deeper under the surface because there's a lot of emotional stuff that's that's being hooked on to every single issue out there. And, you know, it's meant to distract and it's meant to pull us into ideas that you know, maybe aren't really the truth. <laughs> so if there's something that is making you feel emotionally riled up, one, one thing that we can do is use our mental capacity. Maybe you research into that because sometimes when you find something, maybe a quote online th that sounds like it's really negative, look into it. Look into the actual quote in the context. Look at things in the context, right? Um, the forest is all about context. Red panda is a forest animal, right? So if you don't understand the context of what's going on, it's really easy for anybody to mislead you because they'll they'll just take a little piece of the truth and wrap it around, you know, some kind of emotion and send it out there. Okay, and another thing about this uh, creature coming up as as a challenger, boundaries. Okay. Um, really feel into what's mine, what's yours, okay? What's mine is mine, what's yours is yours. That is a fundamental natural law of property, right? And we've kind of gotten to a place, a lot of us, that we don't understand what, what it means to actually own our own bodies, to own our own minds, to own our emotions, you know, even to... Um, you know, to own our spiritual presence. So if you're feeling very fearful or anything like that, anxiety coming up, um, this is one thing that we can do is to work with spiritual protection, even just as simple as creating a bubble of light around yourself, around your home every day as a practice. Super important right now, okay? Anything that you can do to keep yourself contained and to draw those boundaries. It's like, you know, what am I willing to do? Where's my zone of no compromise? Okay. The word no is super, super important right now. 
and whatever that means to you, right? You make up your own mind, but it's really easy to kind of fall into the, the prevailing sentiments about what we should or shouldn't do, what is right and wrong, okay? You need to figure that out for yourself and base it on something more than just pure emotion. Okay, this is the another one coming up as a challenger. This is the card coming up for the, um, the spiritual body. Okay, dear. And again, sensitivity. I, I'm feeling like sensitivity is going to be a big, big theme here for December. Watch the fragile ego. Okay, and ego can show up um, with deer. A lot of times it's jealousy. Okay, or oversensitivity. You know, victim mentality often with a sensitive ego. <laughs> it's like it's not anybody else's fault if you get your feelings hurt. Okay. I'm just going to lay it out there. You can't blame somebody else if you get your feelings hurt. You know, we all need to watch for those little ego things, you know, um, and take responsibility for what happens to us. Now, we're not always responsible for everything that happens to us. We are co-creating this. We had to remember that we're not the only ones creating, but we are responsible for how we respond to it, okay? And if somebody says something, you know, that, that makes you feel upset, examine those feelings of upsetness. And, you know, could you have set more clear boundaries in the first place? Or is it just something that's actually not even yours? Just hand it back to them. <laughs> and it's like, fine, you you can say all you want. Remember that old ditty, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me, right? <laughs> it's like, other people have the right to run off at the mouth, even if it's stupid, right? <laughs> so, but you don't have to let stupid ruin your day. Okay, so... Um, self-doubt is another one, okay? And that's a big one for, um, you know, the spiritual body. Doubt is one of those things that eats away at that, okay? So remember that you are a child of light and <laughs> that you're here for a reason, okay? And that you have this, you know, just come back to this sense of we have access to grace. We have access to the angelic realm. And... I think, you know, just the more self-love we can open up with, stay in the heart. Deer is a big heart animal, okay? So if you find that your heart is feeling constricted, breathe into that heart, okay? The more we can stay in the heart right now, the better off everybody is going to be, okay? That, that you know, doesn't mean to let people run all over you, but it does mean to just tune into that electric energy of the heart. Um, emotional body. This is mouse and it's actually coming up as a an ally. This is interesting because it's like these other two almost pointed to, you know, kind of a, a challenging emotions. But I, I think the, the, the word that's coming out here really strongly is humility. Okay. Because when we have these emotions, we need to recognize that they're there for some reason. There, there's something calling for healing and calling for love. Anytime you have a negative emotion come up, it's a call for love. All right. And so it can be difficult to pull out of anger, to pull out of self-pity, um, you know, all these things. But if we can pull out and just really have compassion for the emotional body recognize that it's there to you know help us to realize what's going on in a way that will trigger an action that will help us okay but it needs the assistance of the mental body okay with an animal it's programmed in okay they have the emotion and they're programmed instinctually to take the right action that more times than not will result in survival. Um, humans, that's been disconnected. It's been disconnected for a reason, but, and it's to help us to gain the, the, the mental capacity so that we can open up to spirit. Okay. Um, 
but we still have to be compassionate with that little emotional body that we have, which is really so linked to our animal selves, okay? So compassion, but just like if you're training a dog or a horse or something, you have to help it to learn to control its actions, right? And that's done through the, the mental body, but it requires humility, okay? It requires um, recognizing that we are not our emotions and that we can control our emotions, right? Which doesn't mean repressing. It's harder to learn to actual control than repressing, okay? Repressing emotion is just going to come up and boom, later on, okay? And then the last one here is for the physical body and it's wild goose, okay? So wild goose is, um, a lot of it is about really long sustained effort. This might be a really good month to be a little easy on that physical body, allow it to rest, um, especially if you're in the northern hemisphere, if you're in the midst of winter right now, this is a time naturally that the physical body is, you know, expecting to be given some rest. So you don't feel like you have to go full hog into the holidays. If you really don't feel like going to that party, just skip it, right? <laughs> it's okay. Um, and also just kind of watch your priorities, right? Right now is a time that I feel like we're really being asked to honor the physical body, okay? And in a big, 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 big way, because this is part of human evolution that we have disconnected from the earth. Earth, matter, body, okay? It's the same thing. It's time now to start reconnecting with that, which means that we need to really tune into the, our bodies and honor our bodies, the sacredness of our bodies, and to recognize that we are actually bringing spirit into the body, okay? This is really what ascension is all about at this point okay it's there's been thousands of years now a couple thousand years where spirituality has been kind of separating from the earth separate um, again there's been a reason for that but it's time for integration now and to honor the body means to really really allow that body to open up Okay, um, I was told recently as a download that men and women, our bodies are both on the feminine side. Okay, the body is mostly feminine. Okay, it's of the earth and it receives, the body receives. We are receiving energies all the time. We are receiving, um, you know, chemical input from the foods we eat, from the water, from the air. We are, you know, just receiving all sorts of stuff. And if we allow that body, it's, it's it really is our temple to be defiled. It is really hard for spirit to come and settle in, okay? Um, so women and men, you know, your, your, whatever body you were given, um, it's going to have a little bit different, uh, energy to it, right? Because men, what I've been given is that the body is intrinsically feminine, but men have this masculine energy that they have to integrate with that body. It's challenging. Okay. So part of this is a honoring of both the masculine and the feminine, right? If you are a man, you've got to be integrating that all the time. It is not easy. And that's why I've been given that at this point, it may be easier for people in a feminine body, in a, in a, in a woman's body to access spirit, but that's not because they are more spiritual or more interested in spirituality. It's because men have this spirit that's already in the body that can sometimes act as a repulsive force, okay, to spirit that wants to come in. And so for men, it's super important to honor the body and to honor that feminine so that they can open up and receive the spirit. What I'm told is that when a man does open up for that 
and embrace his feminine part, then that spirit will merge with the spirit that's embodied in, in his body and it's incredibly powerful huge powerful kind of fire energy that that men have you know when they start to open up and really are able to embrace it but you've got to access that feminine side okay women when they embrace the body and relax and open okay it it allows us to really have this presence, the goddess presence, right, that is able to hold space actually for that incredible powerful masculine energy that we also hold, right, remember that each of us has that, but um, it's going to manifest just a little bit different from, from men or women, and so it's important for both men and women to really honor the body and to embrace that feminine side, allow the breath to open up the body okay work with the breath mind your food okay we all love holiday celebrations but we can choose foods that are, still taste good and still are amazing and very celebration wise but you know maybe choose maybe choose real whipped cream instead of the cool whip right <laughs> just little things like that can can make a difference um and if you're called to fast at this time it would probably be a really good thing too make sure you're getting enough sleep because that opens up the body all right so enough momming <laughs> here uh watch for my next video that's going to be um on the solstice and it's this painting has a lot to say about that and so we'll be delving into the symbolism here and uh, beyond that um love you all you have a wonderful wonderful december and we'll catch you again soon